I'm not too upset considering I had such a bad pain fight, but still. It's becoming a, a bit ridiculous.第二次世界大戦終結後、世界は東西に二分された。冷戦と呼ばれる時代の幕開けである。
Need to stop holding X there. I don't know why I keep doing it. again.
That's more like it. <clears throat> now we're sucking diesel. I think what I'm going to do is just mute my microphone for all the bosses and put real concentration into it. Because I'm not very good at uh, talking. Or like trying to talk or monitor the chat while I'm trying to do bosses. I just get. I just find myself getting all turned around. Another thing I want to do, I want to ask Mr. Snot, does he have splits for this game he can give me? Just if I ever do decide to do loading trick attempts, it'd be cool to have to make a comparison. <coughs> I'm gonna assume he does. But then again, maybe not, because I've never seen him using splits before. Even when he's on stream now, he just uses a timer. So he might not have any. It was a bit rough at the end there, but it's taking a bit more damage than I'd like, but it's not too bad. It's okay. Try and have a good pain fight for a change. In all the runs so far, the pain has been the worst fight. Solid martyr. I hope I said that right. Martyr. I think it's right. Ah, thanks for the follow, bro. Huh. 
I'm gonna mute again for the pain. In a second, I'm gonna grab this life mask. God. I think I'm onto something here, boys. Mute the fucking microphone and perform adequately. Jesus. He didn't get his shield up at the last minute either, which often happens. Oh, damn. That was a really good pain fight. I basically just took my own advice and slowed my shots down and didn't just spam needlessly. Pretty much, yeah. yeah he only put his shield up at the scripted points as opposed to like that extra time he sticks it on <clears throat> that was overall just a good pain fight and I'm happy with it it wasn't a disaster So I'll just surface a little earlier than usual. In case you're watching and you're like, hey, you just killed your foxhound run, you big dummy. Pick up the fucking grenades. Uh, I didn't. Those barrels don't kill. Well, they don't count as a kill, basically. They do kill them, but it was the barrel that did it, not me, so. It doesn't count as a kill. I'm planning on doing the um, faster but more difficult warehouse strap, but I'm just gonna play it. Just do what I'm using. To. But yeah. No, none of the barrels exploding and killing people count towards the fox sound. Only. <clears throat> Not that this is a fox sound attempt, anyway. I mean, it would be nice. It would be a surprise. A nice surprise, but I'm not too concerned if I don't get it.
Thank that guy and for God's sake don't miss. <laughs> Jeez dude. That was stupid of me, but whatever. I'm glad my health isn't any lower. Glad I didn't take that damage in the river because I don't know if I'd have survived that. Is all a bit straightforward just once you get to uh here it's a good idea to just change into the scientist uniform but your movement towards the door has to be pretty good as well or they'll stick you in basically you need to be in the lab before they're like come on back to the lab just to put you in a prison cell and it wastes a ton of time Oi! Oi! Come back here! You little prick! Hmm? Not sure why I'm losing time, but whatever. Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Oh, I do know why I'm losing time. Because in the PB, I didn't. I took the damage in the river because I had enough health to do it. And I also got electrocuted on the fence. So that, that accounts for that little bit of time lost. <clears throat> oh, and I screwed up the quick headshot in the dock as well. Some minor mistakes. Okay, don't equip the box just yet. I also had got a continue there in the PB. Grab the six break. It's pretty essential. And Silent Martyr can tell you the same thing. If you don't believe me. The cigarette spray is basically one of the most important items in the game. Unless you're doing a multi segment, in which case it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I quickly switch the camera as I enter this loading zone because it just helps me. Uh, Line up my movement and know when to change into the animal camel. So it's just as you about you reach that second truck. And while I'm here, I'll also uh, stick my cigar gas, my gas spray. So we'll need that soon enough. of the fence take out our stuns because we need them okay. uh, there's a good bit of time to save at the fear as well because I have to take it continue because I uh, screwed up I can't remember what I did wrong, I think I triggered a trap too early or something. Oh no, I, now I remember. I took the revival kill too late to trigger the trap. Because he's a bastard. Yeah, that's why there's so much time saved there. I also think I took a continue in the warehouse because uh, the guard saw me on the way out. Like the last possible moment. Damn! Oh, there's another continue. <laughs> and that's Rip Fox sound as well. Oh my god. 
about this. Exactly what happened yesterday. Ugh, and I had the bad camera on as well. God fucking damn it, dude. <sighs> I don't think I'll reset though, I think I'll just keep going from here. Just sort of unfortunate because. Everything up to now was pretty good. There we go. That's a bit unfortunate, of course, but it happens, I guess. But really, I shouldn't have too many more continues in the rest of the run. It should go pretty okay from there. As long as I don't have too many more, I'll just keep going. I don't want to sound stupid, but I'm actually surprised at how well the run went up till now. Everything was going very nicely. Which I'm happy with. But it's the end, the later part of the game where I do need some more practice. So it's worth keep. It's worth continuing on, I think. In spite of a rough warehouse. strat is quite tricky anyway so Get a nice end loop, that'd be cool as well. Be a bit of time save. I am definitely gonna lose some time, I think, though, considering all the continues in the warehouse. Because, like I said, I only had one on the PB. But then again, yeah, because I had about the same amount of continues in the warehouse just now as I had in the whole run uh, in the PB, so. In my P in the PB in my PB I guess I shouldn't just refer to it as the PB. Sounds like I'm talking about someone else's. I'll lose time, but I don't know if I'll lose all of my time. Is what I'm trying to say basically. That's what I was talking about with the cigarette spray. We use it to bully an old man. Bastard. That's really annoying. So I'll, um, so because you might have saw that I used a stun, a smoke grenade to sneak up on the end the last time, but you can't do that 
disappear for some reason. He hears you. So yeah, obviously I lost a good bit of time, but we're still ahead. And there's a lot of a lot of time to save later on. Because in the prison escape, everything went to absolute shit. Come on, just go around the tree. <clears throat> everything went very, very bad. But that's why the camera was so weird. I was using the wrong camera. I didn't even realize for a second. I was like, why is everything weird? This isn't how it usually looks. quiet while I do this as well just cause this area hates me and I hate it I think I was uh long enough, which is my fault I suppose. That strat gives me a little bit of trouble to be honest.
take an auto aim shot right there and it uh, hit somebody in the head who's on top of the mountain. Joined in at the uh, point in the run where everything's going a bit to shit. I was doing pretty good at the start, but it's starting to decline a little bit. Been having a little bit of trouble. Basically, everything went to shit from the warehouse. I can play it safe with that guy and just troll. I don't want to take a continue here. So hopefully I can get this the first time, so I'm going to go quiet again. I get too many more continues. Jesus Christ, dude. If I go like one minute. I'll just, uh, I think I'll just go up to the torture and just see how it goes. Because it was after the torture, during the escape, where I just, everything fell apart. That, like, whole segment, um, up to the sorrow, that was, was very bad. A lot of time wasted. <clears throat> so that's what I'll do. We'll go up as far as there now. We'll see how we're feeling. I think it makes more sense anyway to finish more runs than I'm resetting because I am technically still learning this game. It's not like uh, it's not like with MGS2, you know, I can. If I'm on, like, if I'm losing runs, or I'm a minute behind, or whatever, then it's pretty fucked.
I saved 10 seconds. That was nice. <laughs> Big Teen 14. That's a that's a pretty cool name, to be honest. Cause it ma it rhymes, you know. I'm not sure if that was intended or not, though. Thanks for the follow. Regardless. I'm gonna try this strap that I don't usually do, but. But it is faster, so... I usually trank that first guy. Let's see how this goes. I love when Snake gets stuck on the uh, scenery. I also think I had a continue here. I think I screwed up the movement or something. No, I remember now. I uh, I screwed up. Uh, headshot there and got spotted. Hey, proxy. If you're actually wondering why we're wearing animal camo, since clearly it's not the uh, best camouflage we could be using, it's because it stops Snake having hand jitters when he's hungry, as he is right now. That was bad menu, I should have done the face camo first, but anyway. Cool. I think uh, not getting any continues. A few moments ago is going to save me a bit of time as well. Yeah, we saved a minute. We did it, chat. No, 143, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Goodness, no. European Extreme World Record on PS3 is 119. I'm just turning this down because it's very loud. And it's kind of disturbing to listen to. For some people, I'm sure they won't like listening to it. So, um, It's 119.25, I want to say. I'm just checking. 119.25 I'm a ways off world record but uh, I've only been like doing runs for two days and then a couple of weeks of practice like learning and stuff like that so And the world record uses loading trick as well. Which if you don't know what loading trick is, it's basically we play to here. Um, kill ourselves in the cell. Exit the game. 
and then we have faster loads up to this point and it can save like five or so minutes but loading trick is a huge pain in the arse to set up so I don't bother with it really not anymore not like I used to care そこ。それともいそうか。いい。貴様の仲間は。誰が手引きしている。タフな男だ。だがいつまでも使った。まだまだ終わらんじ。So we'll fool Johnny. We'll pretend we're dead. <clears throat> Equip my cigar here because uh, because we want to try and lose as much health as we can before the uh, sorrow. Just to kill ourselves faster, and we need the smoke grenades and the noodles. I'm not going to say why. I'm just going to demonstrate the reasons. Throw the noodles. Distract that guard. And we're using the smoke. Uh, when you run with a grenade cocked in MGS3, it silences your footsteps. We'll also use these for distraction purposes in the next area. This is about where everything fell apart last time, so I'm hoping it goes a bit better this time. Throw it there so those guards get distracted. Get another one out. We're in the yellow box, throw it. We'll keep the dog busy and hide snake. Runs true. More or less perfect cell. Much better than yesterday. Yesterday's cell escape was a disaster. Medicine in case I need it for later. <clears throat> Since I've already lost Foxhound anyway, so. And it's important as well to drop down like that and break your leg because you need the damage. Because again, it just makes the Sorrow fight faster. Come on, Snake. No, 143 is in the Euro Extreme World Record. Like I was saying, I have the very easy and normal World Record. Though.
that was intentional. Because you want to die here as fast as you can, so you can just take your revival pill and be on your merry way. And yeah, like I was saying, very bad prison escape. Five minutes worth of bad, basically. Crazy. Ridiculous. Just a bazillion cutscenes to skip. See Snake eventually. There he is. And 143.21 is just the RTA, by the way. The in game time PB for me is 142.55. The RTA and the IGT are a little bit off. use that box to uh, get into the hangar faster. Because oh. obviously we did already have a cardboard box but it wasn't the right one. We needed this one so when we use the truck It'll bring us straight to the weapons hangar. <clears throat> and save us a bunch of time. send the guards running and it just gives us an easy path because the maintenance guys are idiots and they just don't pay any attention to the box well they pay attention to it but they just kind of look at it like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <clears throat> and they just once the box is out of their line of sight they just carry on as normal smash square when I'm getting close to a tank so I can plant the bomb ASAP That extra time saved us because I also got to continue at the uh, uh, the part before the hangar. Now we get to deal with Bolgan. I do kind of a slow Bolgan. I do non-lethal because I want the uh, Cold War ammo. <laughs> Little slower but it makes the bike chase. Now 
usually where I end up losing my life, man. Might lose a small bit of time here because he was giving me some rough attacks at the end there. And I just split when the fight fades out. Okay. Save time. Huh. Interesting. Because I didn't take a continue or anything last time. Oh, I know what I did. I did some pointless menus. That's why I saved some time there. I was genuinely expecting to lose a bit of time when he was giving me such bad patterns in phase two. So let's take our spoon smoke or PG. And yeah, that's fine. So if you're not already aware, the Cold War camo just means that the guards will shoot at us when we're facing them. And it makes the bike chase a lot easier. The bike chase can be a real pain. Not so much in Groznygrad or the rail bridge or whatever. The worst part is Lorezzo, Lazrevo, whatever that place is called. Check menu, please. I'll just take some shots and put Shaggo on the camera. Because we can do a bit of damage to him before we have to like fight him proper. it can make the uh, Shagahad fight shorter later on. Captain. The most damage you'll do anyway is during the, uh, when you're on like the airfield or the airstrip or whatever. Oh.
좋아요. This is the uh, this is the part where you want to do as much damage as you can get away with. to be honest, but it's fine. Now Eva kind of screwed me big time with Shagohad. So hopefully she uh, gives me a good time. longer can do damage from the front of the Shagahawk or from the back. The thing is, this is kind of random how Eva behaves. She can either be really nice and go 
around the back a lot or she can just heal. Give me a really bad partner to be honest, but I'm not getting a bit pissed now. worked out well. So I'll split after I finish all folding on top of it. Before you're like, okay, it's three to split. There's a bit of time there to Eva, but <clears throat> that's fine. I was never able to get it. Time. Back. 
that's the luxury of the cold or camo, you can just kind of wander off. Which isn't fair. I'm kind of stupid, but eh, whatever. This area sucks without the cold or camo, but. Stop speedrunning this game. So I, so I think Lazarevo is the reason. You know, that's just how bad it is. Especially this, when they just get on top of you and you can't do anything about them. If I didn't have cold or camo, I'd have been shut up. I'm aware of shooting me right now. That's just because I have to turn around to shoot the log. It's just a ton of unnecessary damage. Nearly finished the bike chase. Nearly finished the game, frankly. Only got a little bit more. Is there you want to lead your stuns into them? <clears throat> so that they uh, drive past but the stun explodes. I'm failing miserably at that right now though. The other option is just drop stuns off the back of the bike. That also works. sure why I saved five seconds on the bike chase, but sure, I'll take it. Oh, you're at a wedding. Oh, I need that. I need that. Sorry, stop. So you don't have to bother um, waving for Eva right now, you just do that in the next area.
just need our smokes. Keep them busy. There's no point going too fast here because uh, Eva is pretty slow. There's time to save here as well because I got caught once or twice. I think. Pretty sure I did. I can't remember. Mm, whatever. <clears throat> I usually like to use up my last suppressor. It's fine. I just be just so I don't run out. Should we give Eva some food? Oh, you got your headphones in nice, dude. Shit. I'm not sure where's the best place to use up this suppressor. of anyone who could hear. She can't let Eva get too close because if she gets close to you she stops moving. Come on Eva. Yeah that was just unfortunate but it's no big deal. this guy because we don't want him to hear us. And like I said before, there's no point really rushing because you're at the mercy of Eva, pretty much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Should still save time here though, apparently. Maybe I got, oh wait, I think I got spotted like two or three times here. It was a disaster. And the boss wasn't great either. That's kind of unfortunate to be honest. I missed that second headshot. Yeah. 
boss is not going terribly good, but... Oh no. No! <coughs> Tried to punch her, but... Oh, I remember her. Oh, the boss was really bad in the PB because I fucking died, like, right at the last hit. Which was pretty bullshit, to be honest. I'm gonna try her with stun. I don't think it's gonna do anything, though. No, it's not. Maybe she'll come for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to finish her off and she killed me. Why haven't I got my... Oh, yeah. And that's the boss finished. I can't remember when I split for the boss. Uh, shit. I can't remember. I think it's after the little cutscene, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> no, it's now. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I think. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Whatever. This is where I split now. At the start of the cutscene. Yeah, a minute and a half extra save there sounds about right when I didn't die. So that was a good run. I'm almost 10 minutes ahead. It was unfortunate in the warehouse. I got a few continues and stuff there. and Obviously I took a continue during the escort on the last area because I was an idiot. I just forgot to waste my suppressor, which I'll remember to do in the future. <coughs> and I even remember at Fulg and I was like, oh, that suppressor is really low, I should use it up during the bike chase or something. God damn it, right you. Silly boy. You silly fool. My PB is 142.55. Or whatever this run ends up being. Because this is now my PB, I guess. Put your Fs in the chat for the boss. And that's the run, pretty much. Just the credits and stuff to go now. Yeah. That was a nice improvement. In a day. <laughs> this is basically the run I could have got yesterday if I didn't absolutely ruin completely destroy the prison escape it was terrible i might just clip it and show uh, how come the run doesn't stop when you fire that bullet uh because we time it igt and the igt is after the credits it's just because the igt is more accurate than rta when a game has an in-game timer you might as well use it you know you've got a way to fall Anyway, I'm gonna mute the mic for a minute. Tell you Take a minute and I'll be back. But Enjoy the really nice music because this song is incredible. So you'd better take it all. They'll tell you what they know. But they Got 
It's not world record, dude. Oh my god, imagine. Shut up, it's world record. Shut up! Well, apparently it is. He said. That told me, anyway. Let's 
turn it down because it's quite loud. <clears throat> Tell you what, if you subscribe, I'll do it. I'll pay someone to do that. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what a shill. Okay, I think this is actually going to be a bit better than I thought it was. I think. Oh well. Tough shit then. No can do. The emote stays as it is. <clears throat> I'm not really inclined to change the emote because I don't have any subscribers. So, Sorry, I was quite far away from the microphone. I'm not really inclined to do anything with the emotes because nobody has subscribed, so it's kind of pointless. Maybe if I get subscribers, I will. Maybe if somebody subscribes, I might think about it. I'd be more inclined then, you know, it's just that why would I pay someone to make emotes that nobody uses or can use because, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Not that I'm that bothered one way or the other if I have any subscribers. <clears throat> I don't, uh, I don't stream for monies. Although Squeak was very kind and gave me three Irish dollars earlier today, which is very nice of him. Yeah, I think this run is going to be a bit faster than I expected it to be. Huh. Stream for the women's. Fair enough. Suit yourself. Well... OBS isn't that heavy on resources. As long as you weren't streaming like a PC game. Yeah, like you'd be able to stream a console on it, alright. But PC games, not, not likely. I mean, I had a pretty old laptop when I was streaming and I was able to manage just fine. I might do an MGS2 run after this. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, like, like OBS isn't that resource heavy, to be fair. Yeah, I think I will do MGS2. I'm not going to do another MGS3 run. That'd be silly. I just finished one, for God's sake. So I think this will be a 133. I think. Maybe a low 134. High 133 or low 134, but we'll see in a second. Low 134. <laughs> 134.06. That is very nice. 